Hey, this is Joe from Personas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your templates in Studio One. If you're not using templates when you start a new project, I encourage you to check them out. They can save you a lot of time setting up the same tracks and the same effects and the same buses and all of that. It might be fun at first, but the hundredth time you do it, you would rather just have it done for you. Templates can help you do that. If you go to New Song, and you go under the user tab, you'll see these are some templates that I've created. Just recently, I recorded my band and I created a template from the first song that I used to create the remaining songs as we recorded them. So when it was time for a new song, I would come to this window here, I'd press OK, and this would pop up. So this was the session for us to record, you can see the drums are record enabled, as is the bass and the guitar track. So now I can come in here, change the tempo for this song to make it right, hit record, and we're off to the races within just a few seconds of finishing the last song. Templates are wonderful for this. What's cool about this is the template is already, it already even has the tracks record enabled, has everything routed exactly like I had it in the previous one, and I can move on. But let's say we change something. Let's say then for this example, we decide, you know what, we want to get another, um, we want to set up a mic on my vocal so I can sing along while we're tracking. Let's say that's what we want to do. Um, and let's pretend that track wasn't here. So what we can do is we can add a new track. We can call it Xvox for scratch vocals. We can set that to input three, say OK. We can turn this on and check, 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 check. OK, we can see there's level there. Now this is how I want the net, this current song and all future songs to begin with this vocal track enabled. Um, and let's say I also want to record acoustic guitar instead of electric. I can duplicate this track, put it on acoustic bus, turn this one off. We'll call this one AG for acoustic. So now from here on, let's say I smash my, my electric. I don't want to play anymore. From here on, I want to record acoustic instead of electric, and I want to sing while I'm playing. Now I've got this set up how I want it. How do I save this as a template, or how do I change the existing template? It's actually really easy, but it's a little bit backwards from what you might think. You don't open the old template and change it. You actually t save what you've changed and replace the existing template. Here's what that looks like. I didn't say that clearly, sorry. Go to File and go to Save as Template like you normally would, okay? Save as Template, but now when you get to this window, there's this button here that you might have missed, Replace Existing. I don't have to fill any of this out. I hit Replace Existing. It opens up the folder where all my templates live. And so the file that I'm replacing is one that ends in dot song template. By the way, in case you didn't know, these all live inside of your Studio One folder, um, inside of the templates folder. So that's the default folder that you will see when you go to, for example, go to Preferences, under Locations, User Data. This is where all that your songs are saved there, your projects are saved there, and also your templates and presets and things like that. Okay, so back to where we were. We go to File, Save as Template, Replace Existing, and this pops up giving us some choices. And we can see these are all of the current templates in my system. This is the one I want to replace. I select that one. I say OK or Open. I can change the name if I want to. This is you know, we could say this is the, anyway, we'll just leave it like it is and say, okay, now we're good. Now check it out. If I close this song, start a new song from that template, same one I chose before. Now we'll see when it opens up, I've got the acoustic guitar and the vocal ready to go. So I've replaced the previous template. Super simple, super easy, and it keeps you from clogging up your template page with tons of stuff you don't need. By the way, one little extra tip. If I navigate to that same folder, um, give me one second, I'll navigate there. Okay, here's my template folder. If I have templates that I needed for a season, but I don't need them anymore, um, I've shown this before, but I thought this would be appropriate here. Um, there are several templ templates here that I use for a project that I don't need access to. So I can do something like this. I can take these that I don't need anymore, and I've just created a new folder called Retired and I drag them in there. Now, when I'm in Studio One, and I'm on the start page, and I want to create a new song from one of my templates, now I only have the ones that I want to see available. Instead of having a huge list that continues to grow, and you're always having to search for your favorite one, now I've just got the ones that I use, the rest live here. I can always come back and take, look, these are a bunch that I've retired in the past. I can take these and drag them back into the active folder, 
if I need to use them again for some reason, they're not gone forever, but they're out of sight, out of mind, makes life a little bit cleaner, and that makes me happy. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for you. If you're not using templates, play around with them this weekend. See if you can come up with a template that makes your life a little bit easier. I'm not talking about having all your plugin settings set a certain way. For me, that's going to change from one song to the next. But having things like the tracks, the names, the coloring, the routing, the folders, uh, which tracks are enabled, which ones are record enabled, those types of things, that really saves you time over the long haul as you're creating song after song. You open it up, it's ready to go, you can start making music right away. And to me, that's enough of a benefit to take the time to learn how to use templates because if I have an idea and I sit down in the studio, I can be recording within seconds because I have templates that are waiting for me to open them that have everything I need to start making music right away. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'll see you in the next one.